um, we were talking about how to use the double rec and rec, and we began talking about how many beads there are. So ask the kids how many are at the top, and they'll say 10. How do you know there's 10? There's five red, five white. How many at the bottom? 10. Five red, five white. And then how many all together? Well, there's 10 at the top and 10 at the bottom. And then what's another way that you know it's 20? And they hopefully will get to the point where they say, that. well, there's 10 red and then 10 white. So to play the game, I always have my kids have whiteboards for each student, and then they have to write down the equation that they see to figure out how many dots there, or how many beads there are. So I quickly flash to them how many um, beads, and they write it down. And so they're all writing what they saw. Some kids might write 6 plus 7, and they use 6 plus 6, that's 12, and one more, that's 7. And I would have kids write that down, that mental thinking. And then also some kids might see all the red, which is 10 and 3, so that's 13. And then after they've done that, I give the kids a point on my board to keep track who's winning in our little thing. And then I'll ask them, okay, so we know there's 20 on the board, so if you've seen 13, how many are hiding over here that I didn't show you? So then that way it gets the other side and it's a little more challenging because now they're subtracting and not just visualizing. So that's why I use that for. Then you can also do the same thing with the 100 recommend. So then we 